Hello there, Sue Willy B here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this isometric pixel art tile set right here. If you're a complete beginner to pixel art and you don't know the basics of it, before watching this video I'd recommend you watch my previous one on the basics of isometric pixel art. We're going to be picking up from there. Here I have my isometric grid and the first thing I'm going to be doing is picking out a color palette. I know I want to make a common scenery, so greens and browns and a little bit of blues and greys is what I'm looking for. If you want to make something specific and you have no idea what sort of palette you should be using, then look for references on the theme. Maybe then you have a better notion of what palette you should use. Having a few options of colors can be very useful, but having too much might hinder your progress and you'll be spending too much time choosing a color when it should be an easy process. Once you've decided on your color palette, it's time to think about the tiles that you're going to be using. I use the grid to guide me and make this little block. This grid has a tile base that is 33 pixels tall and 66 pixels wide. Now that we have this, we can think about the tiles we're going to be creating. You can make one tile at a time, but to plan it out, I'm going to be creating mocks for each of the tiles I'm thinking about making, and I'll plan out the colors that I'll be using. First, I'll be making a grass tile. It will be green at the top and brown at the sides, representing the dirt layers. I'll also be making a stone tile, a dirt tile, a sand tile, and finally, a water tile. This water tile is going to have half the height of the other blocks. You can even make the water transparent if you want to, but for games, I'd recommend working on the transparency inside the game engine. Now that we can see what the basics of our tile set is going to be looking like, let's begin working on our first tile. This will be a grass tile. I strongly recommend you look up references for the tile you're making, because then you can see what you like and what you don't like and understand what is recognizable about this specific tile and make sure that you nail it. Now that we have our tile here with the colors that we're going to be using, it's time to think about the shape that it's going to have. Have in mind that this tile you're making is going to be the basis for the entire tile set. You should first make your most used tile so you can have a notion of what your set will be looking like and what style you're trying to achieve. First thing you should do is think about the outline of the style. Do you want your tiles to be outlined? What color would that outline be? Now is the time to experiment. Try out a few different combinations, see how they look on a grid and see what you think suits it better. Once you're happy with it, let's start working on the faces of the block. For the dirt, I'll make a few lines to represent the layers of dirt on the sides. You also need to check if it looks okay on the seam where it meets the other tile. Just copy and paste your tile and check how it looks. If it looks okay, then you can go on to the next step. We will now make the top part of our grass tile. I made some crazy designs to see what I wanted to do, but I decided to go with a simpler type of grass. As you can see, it goes over the tile line, but as long as it looks okay when you put it together with the other tiles, then it's all great. I then made a second version of the style so that it has more variety. This is going to be the main tile, all the others are going to follow whatever style I set for this one. So, I experimented with outlines in order to see what would look better. I decided to stick with the most basic tile without the outline and here you can see the final version. And I know that many features could be improved on, but that would cost a lot of time. I'm not a great artist, so I know that for me 
it would be futile to spend hours and hours on a single tile when I have so many other tiles to make. Choosing a simpler style can save you a lot of time, but going for a more polished look can take your game to the next level. Keep in mind your abilities and how many hours you have to make all your tiles, so you won't make the basic tile too complex and run out of time to finish the other ones. If you don't know if you have the time to polish them all, you can make a simpler version of all the tiles and later return to polish them if you have the time. Now here I'm starting to work on the dirt tiles. I use the same base that I had for the grass tiles, but I'll replace the top with a dirt texture. experiment with different ideas and settle on these simple stripes. I also worked with two different tops for this one to add variety. Then I'll just add a few finishing touches and I check how it looks on the grid. For the sand, it's the same process. I use little bright dots to simulate the granular texture of sand. I added this line at the bottom for contrast, but later I removed it because it didn't work very well with the other tiles. For the water, I experimented a lot. At the end, I settled on just little shiny waves on the surface. was the best one by far. I used varied shapes of flat stones and I arranged them to a position that I liked. Then I just painted the stones like I had painted the tile. I also did two versions of this tile to make it more interesting.
At last, I arranged all the tiles that I made into a single sheet. This, with a transparent background, is what you would export in order to use it in a game. To make a better use of the space left, I decided to make little objects to use in the scene. So here I am, making lots of different props. So this was it for today guys, next time I'll be making a tutorial on how to generate an isometric board. So stay tuned and if it's already out, you can go watch it right now. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And for more videos such as this one, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, bye!